What up, Carp Crew? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I am Devin. Logan's not here this week. He's in Texas, but we're so glad that you've made it back or that you're joining us And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, You guys get some kind of helpful information from me. So stay tuned What up, guys, so today I am here to talk to you guys about the stereotypes of being a female in the military um, I feel like we hear so many different things about it and obviously I live it so this one's just gonna be like a short little video kind of Breaking myths, making sure they're false true, and this kind of like encouraging some of the females that are kind of struggling or on that line if they want to join. Um, so that's kind of like the gist of today's video. Um, I hope that the men still watch this and maybe you guys get some kind of like tips on what to do and what not to do. Um, because I think that a lot of the stuff that I've been getting asked on Instagram is that... Um, Men kind of treat women unfairly. They sexually harass them, assault them. Um, they start rumors about them. And it's just, it's such a crazy, so crazy thing to think about that. This is a reason why, you know, females don't want to join the military. Um, they just don't do things in life in general because of their, they're scared. And uh, it breaks my heart and it also makes me question what are we doing wrong and what as women in the military can we do better to help encourage other females to um, kind of join. Uh, so I think that's my biggest point here is I want to encourage you guys to, if you even think about joining the military and you are, you know, full on for this, but the one thing you're scared about is how you're going to be treated. I want this to be that video that tells you guys that that's not something that you need to worry about. That's something that um, you just have to, you have to talk to other females and, ex and you know, watch these videos about what we go through and know that that's not like a big deal. Um, I've been married before when I joined and I went through a divorce and I've been single and now I'm in a relationship and each different time zone in my career, um, I've heard the stereotypes. I've heard that I've been on my knees. I've heard that I you know, slept around, I've heard that I cheated on my husband, I heard that, you know, all these crazy things that people have said about me, and I'm still in, and I still wouldn't trade it for the world, um, because at the end of the day, as long as you know what you're doing, as long as you know that you are where you're supposed to be, and that you are working your hardest, that you are living your best life, that you are putting your full and in, in entire, um, motivation and 100% into what you're doing at work who cares what other people are saying um, I hear rumors all the time about myself you know I'm an I'm an NCO and I still hear stuff about me and don't let others who clearly are failing in their portion of life that they want to talk about you and start something about you affect what you're gonna do in the military um, so it's just, that's I wanted to get that message out because that's what's the most important to me is that females understand that no matter where you are in life, I feel like sometimes we do have that unfair advantage of getting talked about and getting told that we're using our looks or our sexualization to get where we are. And it, it baffles me that that's still something that um, is being like spoken about or going around. Um, my second message that I want to put out is don't be that female. Don't be the one that ruins it for the females that don't do that. Don't be that female that thinks it's funny and encourages it or, you know, just puts puts yourself in a bad light. Um, I think if you really want to uh, succeed in the military and, and go forward, uh, just work work and put your best effort into it prove to those men prove to other females that you are there to do your job you are there to be the best that you can be you are there to strive and thrive and freaking just work okay work do it try 
Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Ah, there's so many songs I wish I could put in here and these copyright really just mess it all up. Um, but, so, from the beginning to the end of my entire, uh, guys, I keep playing with my hair, I'm so sorry. Um, from the beginning to the end of our journey, my journey, our journey, you guys are not here. Um, BMT was BMT, you're with nothing but females. So I feel like that's just something that you don't have to really worry about. Um, and then moving on from BMT, you go into tech school. Um, as we all know, I was in security forces tech school. I was still married. Um, I minded my business. I did my job. I worked um, with predominantly males in tech school. Um, we went to class and honestly, I made some really great friendships in tech school with males and the instructors were great towards us. I don't think there was one time in tech school where I felt like I was ever discriminated for being a female. Um, it is an AETC like environment so I feel like there's there's just that's not there and I didn't feel it and again this is just me um, I felt like we were I was treated completely fairly I did what the guys did I worked did the same test did the same obstacle courses ran the same PT in the mornings I did everything that the males were doing there was never a time where I felt like I was sectioned out for being a female um, and then another big thing that uh, I get asked a lot is like how men treat you like sexualization um so i have heard some stories um about females getting sexually harassed in the military i wrote a paper about it in college um and it's there and i'm not going to sugarcoat that it's there and it's all it's around the entire world and it's something unfortunately that is happening way too often and it's it's hard um to See people going through these types of things I know people going through these things um, I've almost been close to a case where it happened to me and so it's it's something that I understand that would scare females but I don't want it to um, because I think if we live in fear our entire lives that we just aren't ever going to know our full potential because we're never gonna reach that full potential because we would have strayed away from something because of a male or a female um so yes it's out there but it's also not something that i think that like you run into every day um and i don't want that to be the reason why you kind of stray away from the military and i've i've received emails and dms on instagram of these girls saying yeah i reached out to someone else in the military and she told me that something really bad happened to her and that i should second guess it and i was like that's so crazy because you know, we should encourage females to live out their dreams. And if they want to be in the military and that's their dream, don't ever discourage them. Um, ever, ever, ever. Um, and then, you know, I got to be an NCO. I didn't get BTZ. I didn't get handed BTZ like males say. Um, you know, I had rumors about me. I had everything you could think of handed at me. And... I just never really let that affect me. I mean, I cried when I was an airman. I definitely cried and I definitely, you know, had some hardships, but I think, you know, I think males have some hardships too. I don't think th this whole, what's it like being a female and what's it like being a male in the military? Um, I think that's why we ask these questions is because we're asking these questions because there's, it's such a common question. I think we just need to focus on our job and what we're there to do. And I think once people realize that that's what we're supposed to be doing, I think these questions will be less and few. Um, come to work, do your job, and ignore what anybody has to say about you. Um, and I, I feel like I keep repeating myself and I think it's just because it's such, this question, um, it sits in a certain spot with me. Um, because, I don't think that me being a female in the military or if I were have been a male, I don't think my career would have been any different. I don't think that I would be, if I was a male, I don't think I'd be a less rank because I would have worked my butt off to get to where I was. Um, Logan is a male and he's in the, he's actually gotten farther than I have. He made staff before technically less time than I have. Um, and that's because he worked. He worked to get there and 
I worked to get where I got to. Um, some circumstances have not fallen in my favor, um, but I never let that stop me. And I think that's the biggest, uh, well, one of the biggest things. Uh, don't let a male or a female or leadership or your family or anybody tell you that you can't do something because you are a gender, because anything about you is different from somebody else. Um, huh. The subject's hard. It's not hard to talk about. It's But it's one of those things like, don't ever look into something, don't go into something saying, I'm a female, is this right for me? Is this something I can do because I'm a female? The military lets females in there because it is something you can do. It is something that you can strive at. It is something that you can do better at. We have chiefs, we have colonels, we have commanders, we have all these females that are doing these things because they push to get there and they continue to get there and they went through hardships they went through these stereotypes they've pushed through those and i think that if you're strong enough and you're well-hearted enough you're gonna get through it as well yeah you say so you say so you just want my scrunchie you just want the scrunchie um sorry this is my baby it's a baby um, so I think, I mean, if you guys have any like detailed questions, he really, you guys, I'm so sorry. He is obsessed with long sleeves and scrunchies. He wants them all the time. Can you say so the remainder of the video, I have dirt on my lip because Sirius got say it hi. on me. Can you say hi? Sirius, say hi. No, you just went to scrunchie. Um, so I think if you have any like detailed questions that you guys would actually like to talk to me about, um, if you've gone through something and you just need somebody to open up to, if um, you've been in that position where Sony has told you that, oh, you know, you're a female, I don't think it's something you should do, message me because I will let you know right now you can do it and you will do it. You will strive, you will thrive, you may not be 30, but that's okay. Um, and I've also actually, now that I'm remembering this, I've had someone, she's a little bit older, she's 30 and she wants to join and she's like, I know a lot of people say that's too late. If they have a time limit till you're 39, then you're not too old. You are not ever too old to join the military um, until you hit that, okay, you are too old to join the military. Uh, you know, the military offers such a good life and if you take it in the right path and you use it to your advantage, you can, you know, you can strive and you know have the things that like i owe it to the military i have a house i have amazing dogs i have one of the best boyfriends that i could have ever blessed my life with i have a great career i have a car i have friends i have family that are you know i never would have known if i didn't join the military and that's why it's so crazy to me that we're pushing people to believe that they shouldn't do this when it's opened up so many branches and so many doors branches and why why must you do this you're getting my scrunchie dirty you're getting my scrunchie dirty um so you know this is a short video and it's i went everywhere in circles and it's just because it's one of those subjects that truly i 100 percent feel like um it just, it doesn't, there's no right answer. Um, you have to put yourself in that position to know what's gonna happen. And until you do that, um, you're never gonna know the answer. I can only give you my side and some other girl can only give her her side. And I could tell you scenarios for days, but that doesn't mean it's gonna happen to you. But what I'm gonna end this with is, if you are wondering, should I join the, should I join the military as a female? Yes, you should. And that's your sign right here, right now. Buy me, Devin Smith. Take it or leave it and love it. All right, guys, I have to go get ready for work. Um, and then hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You guys know the deal. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. Make sure you guys give us a thumbs up. Start ringing that bell so you get notifications when we put up a new video. And you always have a great day. Tell me why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you, and I just can't be without you, baby.